I wasn't going to record myself so I got on the plane but it's lighting right here so it's telling me to record myself I'm waiting for my plane and I have to take this plane for an hour from Miami um, I get to Columbia I did these flights because I can't stay on the plane for eight hours long, so yeah. This is perfect. At least I get to get off the plane, stop and take breaks because Lord knows I can't stay on that plane for eight hours. I'll die. I still look like last night. So busted. I threw up this morning. I don't know if it's from my nerves or me drinking last night. So I had my hair curly and then I straightened it. I don't know why I did that because I left my flat iron home. I didn't even bring it with me. And my friend said she didn't bring hers. Look at my hair. I'm gonna just have to wet it and put it back to curly when I get out there. My phone is dead, so I'm so mad. Because I was so smacked last night. I had some drinks and then I knocked out so that when I wake up, I could be like really sleepy. So when I get on this plane, I can knock back out. I have no headphones, no gum, no nothing. This is ridiculous. Hot mess. Plane number one. This is only an hour or so. I should be alright for now. This is the longest I've ever been in the airport. I don't like sitting in airports. I like to be in and out. I look a hot mess. I'm sitting here like I'm cold and homeless and hungry. Feet up and all. Waiting to get on this next flight. I'm in North Carolina. This is my first time flying out the country and I'm by myself. Look at this shit. I'd be all right. Sacrifices, I'm grown now, right? Hmm. I'm here. I can't believe I did this shit by myself. This is my first time. I'm alone. Wow. So I just want to give a, a, what was I going to say, a quick note, one-on-one. -on -one. Um, New York people and people from my here talk two different Spanish. Like, it's so different. It's so hard. In the airport, I felt dumb as hell. And I know Spanish very well, but I feel like I cannot understand nothing they're saying to me. It's crazy. <laughs> So I wasn't even going <clears> to <throat> record myself because I'm crying because I'm fucking mad. I feel like a big ass baby. But I'm only crying because I feel alone. I'm just here by myself and I have nothing to cry about. But I'm crying because I'm alone and I feel alone. The fuck? I don't even feel like vlogging anymore. I'm not even happy. Because I'm so fucking mad that I'm alone. I'm trying to be happy. But. Every time I keep trying to be happy. I keep thinking that I'm alone. So it's making me cry. I don't know. Who cries just because they're by themselves? Me. Because I feel mad and scared. Because I'm in Colombia. And. I don't know nobody. And I think I'm crying more because I don't have no fucking bud. Ish. So, I have an appointment tomorrow. Um, I'm going to get my teeth done. And 
I didn't really tell anybody about it because every time I tell y'all what I'm going to do, I have so many haters and so many evil eyes. It never goes right for me. Like, it'll get done, but the process won't go right or it will just go terrible. Like, you know, so I just kept this one to myself. And this was just my birthday gift to myself. This year for my birthday, I'm really not even worried about like a birthday dress or shoes. I really just wanted to do my teeth for myself. Even though I'm still going to get my birthday dress and shoes, you know. But that's not something that I'm looking, like, putting my all into. Last year, I was putting my all into it. Like, I was going hard for the dress. Like, that was the that was the thing. It was the dress and the look. Now, it's my teeth. I want to get it done. And I'm not too worried about the dress and the heels. So, I'm going to put something simple on, basically, this year. This is who I'm going to. This is Dr. Montoya. And hopefully, he does a good job on my teeth because... I got rabbit teeth, so I want to see how he's going to do this. He's a pretty known doctor for doing his teeth shit. And I came all the way to Columbia. I'm sitting in the fucking room by myself crying, all right? In the meantime, let me show y'all my hotel room since I was being a fucking crybaby. I'm staying in the Intercontinental, whatever the hell it's called. And I just got out the shower and my friend lands at 6, 7 in the morning. But by the time she gets here, I'm going to be sleeping. I'm going to take my crybaby ass to sleep. I'm trying to think if I should order some room service. Because I'd really be wasting food. So I'm trying to think if I should just munch or order food right now. I'm about to put a movie on my laptop. I'm mad that I can't edit. That was my plan for the night. My plan for the night was to edit my YouTube video that I did for y'all. Just a regular day in life for me. A vlog and then from there I was gonna hit y'all with the Columbia vlog boom no I can't do that because I don't have a motherfucking USB cord so now I have to do everything I have to put all these videos out at once and that's whack that's tacky and then it's just not the same timing phrase how I wanted it to be like nothing ever works for me like this I tried to make it work so hard you don't understand I just can't wait to go to sleep and go to my appointment because that's really what I came for and that's really all I want to do like if I can fly back the same day I would but the only problem is the flight is too long and I'm not doing yet so I'm going to get my teeth done tomorrow and I'm going to fly back the next day after which is Tuesday guys hopefully I look pretty let's look at me now yeah shit gonna be lit I wish I could take all this money and just go shopping because my birthday is in six days. I don't even care. This is my birthday gift to myself. And yeah, this is what's going on right now. I look so ugly. I brought a suitcase with like three outfits because I'm not going to be here. I don't plan on being here. And yeah. That's about it for now. I'm about to just go to sleep because my friend out here. And I'm panicking by the moment, so I need to just go to sleep and wake up so it can be daytime. Bye, guys. Tomorrow is a big day for me. Hey guys, I just woke up. I'm feeling a little better because it's the daytime, so I'm not crying. Let me just show y'all Columbia. It looks, it's looking kind of nice now. Still scared. My friend is here. She's giving me some fruits in the lobby and she's coming up. I have my appointment at 1. I'm about to just go to the pool area in the meantime to my appointment. Yeah. I need pool time. Definitely. Okay, my peoples. Me and my friend is going to the pool. And let me show y'all. Again, so cute, but... We look better when I'm down there. This shit empty. Nobody there. That's what I like. But guess what? Columbia is very empty. I landed yesterday at 9 o'clock and I didn't see nobody. Look how they be riding over here on bikes and shit. I was in the, um, the car yesterday and some guy came up to the car that I was in and hit the tire with some fucking, with some metal pipe shit. And the guy told me that they do that because, I don't know, they be helping people with their cars, some shit. This shit is just weird. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, go to it so I can show you. Going down to the pool. I look so crazy. That's how you know I didn't come here for a vacation. I came here to do my teeth, bitch, because a bitch hair looks a hot mess. Like, I'm not trying to wet my hair because I just straightened this shit. When I get back to New York, I know I'm gonna be hot with that curly ass hair, and I'm not sitting in a hair salon. So I'm out here in Columbia looking like this. I don't give a fuck. I have no one to impress. As long as I come back with my beautiful white teeth. I We're in the lobby. Oh, we could eat down here, maybe. Hello? Hi, puppy. What are you doing? Let me see. Hi. You okay? Yeah, service isn't good. So, this is our hotel. We're gonna go down to the pool. How do we go to the pool? I think this way. This is my first time being out the country and I'm not with my sister so I feel mad funny because I go everywhere with her. <laughs> is it? I'll you now because I have to put the Wi-Fi. Yeah. They might have seen a whole lot of ass. He's like that. He's kind of picky. I feel way better now. I'm a fucking cry, baby. I don't give a fuck. Look, that nigga got up to so look at that ass. Hey, 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 go ahead, Mila. Let me keep smiling with my last smile. <laughs> Look at the scenery. Palm trees. Look at they looking at me through the window. Oh my god, look. Look. Ah! Look like he say hi. <laughs> Yo. What do you even call it? Anyway, ready for our food. Our food. Now we're gonna go eat by the pool. Dinner. Y'all haven't ate in 48 hours, y'all don't know. Cause I was in the airport and I was saying I'm not gonna eat till I get out here. And then when I got here last night, I didn't even wanna eat. I was just crying, I was mad so I went straight to sleep. And now I'm ready to eat, I'm ready to eat, drink, or do everything. And I've been sober for 48 hours, people. So they had curry chicken, y'all. You know I had to get curry chicken. Fire. Uh, I'm about to fall and shit. Oh, really? I don't like mine either. Yeah. I don't like my food. And I didn't eat in 24 hours. I'm about to just go upstairs and eat everything in that room. The Pringles, the chocolate, everything. Like mm. anything that's like normal to me. Cause this right now, I don't like this. They put two. This ain't rice and peas, bro. They <laughs> deep off. I'm just dipping the rice in the sauce because I'm so hungry. I haven't ate at all since I've been here. Oh no, I don't like this. I can't eat this. I'm about to go to that buffet right there. See what they got there and just pick mm -hmm. out food from there. Mm -hmm. This taste is different, bro. It's not like normal to me. Mm -hmm. The taste is different. This sucks ass. I'm hungry and sober. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> I've been ready to leave since I got here. This ain't doing it for me. This shit empty as hell. I don't know what I'm eating. What is that? So cute, but guess what? In New York, I would've been mad excited because it'd be mad shit I eat. There's a whole bunch of, I don't know what. Beets, queso. I don't know what this is. 
onions. Oh, my friend Kaylee would enjoy this right now. She get a whole bowl of onions. Sachichas barbecue. I'm gonna take some fruits. Um, papa con mayonnaise. Yeah, Colombian food is not my type of food. But all right. You getting something, Nina? We have the breads over here. What is this? Oh, these are desserts. Oh, they have dessert. Look. Mousse de mora cake. Everything is so different, bro. But I'm going to pick something because I'm starving. I think I'm, <laughs> I'm about <laughs> to get this. This Americanized. This looks valid. This looks super valid. What's in here? Oh, I don't know. What's in there? Steak. A steak. Yeah. We should get some steak with potatoes. Yeah, that look good. I'm dead about to do that, bro, because yeah, I'm starving. Is oh, this is some rice. Oh, that shit got mushrooms in there. Oof. He's letting me try soup. Oh, Lord. This is not Jamaica. Oh, no, I don't think I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all know I'm really picky on food and the main thing I eat is soul food and shit like that and I thought this Spanish food would be legit but it's real different everything is real different the Spanish is different the food is different everything is just completely different um, we went to the buffet and I got these little bit of fruits here and I got this steak and these potatoes because it's the only thing that I know is going to taste normal everything is hitting for me yo I'm so hungry I've been hungry for 48 hours now I'm just beating to get home Cause I just want to eat. I never wanted to eat so much in my life. I'm legit starving out here. I know I lost like five pounds. Legit. I know I lost five pounds. Anyways, we're back in the hotel. I'm just showing y'all the street view and stuff. Look how this is. This just really looks like Colombia. <laughs> it looks like Colombia. Like a lot of people ride on motorcycles out here. Oh, they do. They do. It's crazy. I'm in Cali, Colombia, by the way. And I heard this is a nice part. So imagine the bad part. I'm scared. All right, time to get ready. I'm back at my hotel room, and it's time for my appointment. And I'm so excited, but I'm more excited to go home than to do my teeth. On oh, God, I don't know why. I'm just very homesick. All right, um, let me get dressed, and I'll be back, guys. So I have a makeup bag that I brought with me, but I don't have no hair products, so I'm not putting nothing on my face if my hair isn't done. So I'm staying like this. I didn't come out here to party anyways. I didn't come out here to look cute. I came out here to get these teeth done and go back home. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Let's go, Nina. Baby! It's time! Hi! Yes! Look at the shirt. Let's get done. I look crazy. See you in the Instagram? Yeah. Cool? Good? Nice? Yeah. Look at that young couple. See how they ride over here on the motorcycles? Oh, the Wi-Fi. He has Wi-Fi. He does? Yeah, the car. You lying. Yeah, you do. He has Wi-Fi in the car. Yeah, I forgot. Do it again. Where? Yeah, where I was coming. This is just so different. I can't believe I'm in Colombia. <laughs> All the um, buildings are so small. The stores are so small. I have to know people out here because I feel like I'm missing the liveness somewhere. It is. It's somewhere. <laughs> we just not in it. It's lit out here somewhere. So now that I'm out the car, I'm gonna record and show y'all. Okay, my peoples, I'm here. 
I'm here. Here we are. Wow. Let's do it. I can't believe I'm here. I can't believe I'm doing this. Hi. Hi. I gotta do a teeth cleaning first. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to do my teeth cleaning first. My teeth is so bad, I smoke a lot of weed. <laughs> I just finished doing my teeth cleaning and get, get a glimpse of my teeth now before I do it. Right here, this is the office. I don't know if we do it here or something. I think so. And yeah, we're just waiting, waiting, waiting. This is so funny. This should make stops and they just jump on it. I want to ride in that. I'm here with him, guys. Okay, I am really ready. happy having you here, sweetie. We're going to make the perfect smile for you. Are you ready for the billion dollar smile? Yes, I need it, right? Let's get it done. Yeah, let's do it. They <laughs> are very good. They are teachers of the, the best dental school here. Okay. Uh, so they are going to start the present for you and with you, with you and with you. Uh, they are going to place for you 12 top veneers, come to your gold line. 12 top, 12 bottom veneers. And after that, I'm going to continue the procedure with you uh, to uh, finish the size, the shape, the name, the color, everything, okay? So I'm contouring my gums and everything. Because y'all see this? This is all messed up. And I'm doing top 12. I'm doing 12 on the top and 12 on the bottom. Because I do have a big smile, right? See it? They will look really nice. They will look really nice. I cannot wait to be like that. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to start. Oh my god. That's my real tea. Uh -huh. Wow.
Hello, and I'm back with my smile. The billion dollar smile is done. You and like I'm, it? I'm so happy. I think that your tip looks really nice. And the most important thing is that we never change without your tip. And you want us decide the size, the shape, the length, and the color. What are you waiting hey for? Hey guys, so I just got back to my hotel room, and as you can see, I'm done. And I like how the teeth look and how the results, but I don't like the feeling. And I feel very funny. And yeah, I must have just take a shower and go to sleep. So I'm in the airport, and every time I'm in the airport, I stop to get a souvenir. I'm trying to think, what should I get? These is candies and stuff. I wish I knew what kind of candy this was. I don't have any Colombian friends, so. Yeah, I would have brought them back mad shit. I don't know what all this is, really. I'm about to just get me anything. I really want an ashtray. That's my favorite thing. Oh, the ashtrays are so cute. Look at this. Is that an ashtray? I'm gonna use it as an ashtray. Probably just gonna get me a keychain and go about my business. I would have really got me a Colombian um, candy or something, but I don't know what any of this tastes like. And I'm very picky. They have a lot of stuff. Wow. Look at this. It's like a pack. <laughs> I would have really got me a Colombian um, candy or something, but I don't know what any of this tastes like. And I'm very picky. They have a lot of stuff. Wow. Look at this. It's like a pack. I'm showing myself because I look very ugly. I feel like every time I'm like consistent and recording for like a, a week straight, I, I look ugly. And when I look pretty, I never have my camera. Anyways, long story short. I didn't get me nothing because I didn't see nothing that made me like, wow, I need that. I want to take that home with me. But my friend did tell me to get her shot glass, so I got her this, whatever. Hey, hey everyone. A few minutes ago, we visited the person room with our friend Nina and Mela. Where are you from? New York. New York. Okay, tell me about your experience with your smile design. Let me see your thing. I love it. Woohoo! You look nice. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know me? Instagram. Man, Instagram. It's amazing. Thanks God this is Instagram. Your Thank you. Your really nice. Straight to Miss Universe. I love it. <laughs> Enjoy the beautiful view. Thank you. <laughs>